It's devastating. It's devastating. This season's over. Uh, let's just call it what it is. The season's over. Um, keep in mind that before Steph Curry got hurt, they were down 29 points in the first quarter. How does that happen? That's how horrific their defense has been. Now, I want to preface my comments by saying this. I hope Steph Curry has a full recovery. I love this brother as a person and as a superstar in the NBA. He represents everybody incredibly, incredibly well. Him and his wonderful family and the whole bit. And I don't want anybody to take this wrong because I'm wishing him a speedy recovery. I'm actually happy he's hurt. Do you think Kyrie will ever catch Curry as an overall player? Yes, the answer is yes. And I could easily just say, look, he's 25 and Curry's 29. Mm -hmm. So as Curry ages, and as, as smart as Curry's game is, it does rely on quicks, you know, and all that stuff is going to age. He's not super big. He's strong for his size, but he's small. Um, but I'm not just going to make the argument that Kyrie's younger. I'm going to make the argument, Stephen A. Smith, that Kyrie is coming for Steph regardless. He, like, and really what it comes down to, they both have great handles. Kyrie may be a little bit better. Um, they both finish really well in the paint. Kyrie finishes better. We have seen them in crunch time in the finals. In the finals, Kyrie is a more clutch player than Steph Curry. People call him a finisher, right? But what we see is, in the moment of truth, I'd rather have Kyrie than Steph so far. And if you're saying it's competitive between the two, and one guy is better when you need him the most, and he's in on top of that, he's four years younger, he's going to catch him. Kyrie's going to catch Steph. You know, Max, you have this habit of bringing up Steph Curry as if this dude is some choker. You know, he just doesn't show up if he doesn't get it done. I just want to throw some numbers by you because I know you appreciate numbers, sir, Mr. Analytic Dude. Do you realize that Steph Curry is averaging 26 points a game in the postseason throughout his career? 26 points on 45% shooting and 41% from three-point range. Now, obviously, those are numbers that dwindle just to touch from what he does during the regular season because he's a career 43% shooter from three-point range. Kyrie's been shooting 40% over the last two seasons. His three-point shot has improved. He's actually identical. He's at 40.1% now, just like he was last year, all right? And Kyrie's a bad boy. Please don't get me wrong. The brother's all world. I got a lot of love for his game. Steph Curry is the greatest shooter I have ever seen in my life. I have never, in all my years of watching basketball, my apologies to Reggie Miller, the great Reggie Miller. My apologies to Ray Allen. My apologies to the Ricky Pierces of the world, the Dale Ellisons of the world, the Steve Kerrs of the world, the John Paxons of the world, the downtown Freddie Browns of the world, dating back to the 70s. The, the Del Curries the, uh, of the world. The Del Curries of the world. The Clay Everybody, Thompsons the, the Clay of the Clay world. The Thompsons of the world. Steph Curry is the greatest shooter I have ever seen in my life because it doesn't matter where he is on the floor, it doesn't matter whether he's spotting up, coming off the screens, pulling up off the dribble, it doesn't matter. The brother throws it up and it's usually going. But what about Max's it, argument? Listen. So that Kyrie's a better closer. Kyrie is a sensational player and a sensational closer. But Steph Curry is so phenomenal, it doesn't get to a point where you have to close most of the time because of the stuff that this dude, this dude spends the vast majority of 48 minutes demoralizing you because how do you defend a dude that literally is a threat from the moment he walks past half court? Do you understand that Steph Curry can sit, this table right here could be half court. And the second this man touches the ball in half court, you're like this, oh no. Oh no, I don't know what I'm, because he might just pull up from there. And what I'm saying is in today's NBA game, Kyrie is the dude, Max, if we talking Rutgers Park, if we talking West 4th Street, if we talking- Kyrie all day. I mean, it's Kyrie all day, every day he'll dance with you, the handle's nasty, he's all world, we get all of that. But Steph Curry is that dude. In today's game where you have to shoot, I mean, shooting is just everything. This dude the is ever. the greatest to Couple ever things. do it. That's my issue. Couple things. That's why I can't go Steph with Kyrie. changed the game. There's no two ways about it. He's the greatest shooter of all time. Whoa. Uh. Oh. Oh. 
I try to be everything that I can But sometimes I come out as being nothing I try to be everything that I can But sometimes I come out as being nothing I pray to God that he make me a better man <sighs> Maybe one day I'ma stand for something I'm thanking God that he made you part of the plan I guess I ain't go through all that hell for nothing I'm always fucking up and wrecking shit It seems like I perfected it I offer you my love, I hope you take it like some medicine Tell me ain't nobody better than me I think that there's better than me Hope you see the better in me Always end up better in me I don't wanna ruin this one This type of love don't always come and go I don't wanna ruin this one This type of love don't always come and go I don't wanna ruin this one Drugs, then you hold me close Then I tell you how you make me whole Sometimes I feel you like being alone Then you tell me that I should've stayed in the room Guess I got it all wrong all along My fault, my mistakes probably wipe all the rights I've done Saying goodbye to bygones, those are bygones Head up, baby, stay strong, we gon' live long I don't wanna ruin this one This type of love don't Come and go I don't wanna ruin this one This type of love don't always come